Hey guys, Greg C96 here. Um, one thing first, I apologize for the camera angle. I took the truck today, and I don't actually have a proper mount set up in here, so it's probably a little wobbly because I just kind of have it on the gooseneck clamped um, to the cup holder. So my bad on that. Um, it'll get less wobbly in a second once I get off my awful road. Um, but yeah, so I took the truck today. Um, gotta go do some stuff over at my grandmother's house. Um, to one, I gotta go dump some of the last of the leaves that we did before the uh, snow came. We got snow a couple days ago. So I go over there, dump those leaves, and um, do some work on the garage. And then I told her I would make her dinner today because today is not one of her Meals on Wheels days. So, yeah. That's what we got to do today. And I figured I haven't done a day in the life video in a long time. Um, a little out of practice, you might say. But, uh, yeah, I figured we'll do a day in the life video. And the camera angle probably got totally messed up there. So, um, let's just go for it. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the fact that Starbucks calls this drink here that is less than four and a half inches tall, this is their tall size. I've had children's cups at restaurants taller than this thing. That's false marketing. Not good, Starbucks. Not good. Okay, well, I have um, done the leaves. There's one more bag right there, but that bag is way too heavy for me to move. Then there's just an empty bag there. Uh, the other two empty bags I already put away. I just got to fold that one up and put it away. But, um, yeah, I just uh, kind of wanted to show you guys my latest project. Um, so this is my latest project. As um, my good friends know at this point, so like Tim and Sam and all those guys know, um, as of the date of filming this, a week and a half ago, yeah, a week and a half ago, a week ago, we're coming up on two weeks actually, Sunday, so two days from now, three days from now, it's going to be two weeks, um, my grandfather passed away. 
Yeah, so that kind of sucked. He'd be he'd been in an uh, assisted living home for like two months at that point. After one day, he woke up and um, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna use a shelf here as a makeshift kind of tripod. Also, this is the area in the shop with the best lighting. So yeah, so after being in a home for about two months because um, he woke up one day with extreme pain in his uh, left arm, or what was left of his left arm. Um, he ended up going to the hospital, and they made, they wanted to observe him. During his time there, he had fallen out of the bed once and hurt his hip, uh, which is such a stereotypical old person injury, I know. But, um, yeah, so that was that. Uh, he got pneumonia while he was in the hospital, all sorts of bad stuff. Um... And then he passed, which is, eh, it sucks, but it's better for him because really for the past like two years since he had a stroke, he hasn't been super happy in life. So he's not suffering anymore, which is good. Um, so we look at the positives in a situation like this. That being said, one of the positives in a situation like this is he left me the keys for the garage slash workshop. Um, Hello? Hello! Hi. How can I help you? Sorry to barge in. I was going by and I, I never seen this, the door open. I noticed the, um, the free wheeler. Yeah. I didn't know if it, it might be for sale. It is not. Okay. It is uh, not running at this point, but it's actually my father's. So. I grew up with one yeah. running on a free wheeler. I believe that one there is probably. I think it's a big. No, no, maybe 77, 77 maybe. maybe. Yeah. 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 Um, well, all right then. Thank you. Yeah, not a problem. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, that was a little weird. Um, but anyways, so. Where was I? Train of thought. But yeah, so he left me this. So um, there's all sorts of good tools in here. You see a chop saw right here. Um, right behind the camera is a wood lathe. There's a radial arm saw, belt slash disc sander, a band saw, scroll saw, a couple bench grinders, a couple old bench vices, a uh, drill press right there in the corner, a bunch of other stuff. So it's really cool, and it's a mess in here right now as. I have shown you guys. This area over here is not too bad. It's just that the uh, chop saw is in the way and this broken stove is in the way, plus that shelf. Um, but I want to get this corner, well, actually, the whole thing cleaned because I'd like to be able to put my car in there while I'm working over here. Um, there's a wood stove over there, too, to keep it nice and warm while I'm working. But, um, yeah. So over the next coming months, my project will be getting this place back in order. Um, I particularly want to get like this corner really up and running because I would like to use this corner as kind of like a I want, one thing I'd like to be able to do over here, which will require getting an internet connection over here, is I want to be able to do like workshop streams. Um, I like making stuff. And there's going to be a lot of tools over here to allow me to do a lot of cool projects. Um, like something I did not have access to before, such as the lathe or the bandsaw or the scroll saw. Or, frankly, a lot of the tools over here I haven't had access to. Um, just because, as you can see, for the past two years, it's just been getting more and more cluttered. So, yeah. So, that's basically my project. Um, I'm about to go have lunch with my grandmother. I'm not going to do a whole lot of cleaning of it today. But... Um, yeah. That's about all my thoughts on that, so, um, yeah. That's, that's where we're gonna leave off, um, here. I'm about to go have lunch with my grandmother. So, um, we'll see you guys in a bit. That is all.